All right, so we got Alan Wake and Dead by Daylight. Let's go to video. Oh, wow. A figure stalks the fog, clutching her hatchet like a favorite toy. <laughs> the sound of a haunting lullaby fills the air. An axe soars by my head. And suddenly, I'm running for my life. Yeah, I mean, brother, brother, that axe went by your head like Kratos, bro. The she threw the Kratos axe at you. reverberate across the realm. Unfolding a story filled with captivating twists and deadly turns. Oh, oh, she on your neck. He faces immeasurable darkness. That's a clean Odds suit. Firmly stacked against him, and still he perseveres. The killer has their Ooh. weapon. Ooh. But Spoink. in this writer's hands, a flashlight is as mighty the as the flashlight of death. When shining it, he will gain a speed boost, hindering the killer with every successful <laughs> a blind. Speed boost. Crucial distance gained, and not a moment too soon. Illumination. As a conjures plot lines from thin air, so too can he conjure a boon totem. This man's cooking up a One soul. That provides insight into the environment, <laughs> revealing the location of generators Ooh. and chests. That's actually pretty fire. And I like while that. This boon remains lit. Bless or cleanse all other totems with greater speed. Oh, snap. Deadline. Wait, how many perks do. Though injured, all is far from lost. When repairing a generator or healing a fellow survivor, yeah. skill checks will appear with increased frequency, quickening the pace during those pivotal climactic moments. Okay, that's nice. I still don't fully understand why this is happening. You never know what's happening. But I've been going from one dark place to another. My eyes are beginning to adjust. Last light of death. <laughs> All right, listen. All right, so it's uh, January thirtieth. Listen, here's what I'm gonna say. First, it, one thing that I can respect about Dead by Daylight is that like each character that comes through like for the game, bro, they got like and obviously you know the you know they take what they so let's say uh Chucky right they take a lot of the perks that they use in like the movies and like turn them into like perks for the game. I like that a lot. For Alan Wake, I'm gonna be honest, bro. Alan Wake is such like it's such like a weird game that like I don't know what they were gonna add for him, but obviously they added like the flashlight, um, and I think they uh, they said like something about you know if he gets attacked, and I think um, it will like speed up. I think like the like like the stuff like the generators and stuff like that. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really a big uh, player of Dead by Daylight, but I am interested in like and, and like all the fascinating news that comes with it. Also, I think. I don't know where this came from, but I think um, they were making like a Dead by Daylight. Was it a Dead by Daylight movie or Until Dawn movie? Something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can, if you can correct me, that will be pretty nice. But um, one more thing. I cannot wait until um, Dead by Daylight and the... Um, and like what is it the cast of frank stone they're doing their thing as well obviously that was really big um so i don't know if if they're making like their own separate game because at first i thought that frank stone was coming to dead by daylight but no i was wrong uh it, it looks like they're actually combining it like in like making like their own game or whatever that would be absolutely fire um I don't know, and, you know, and the reason I don't play this game uh, like that is because obviously, yes, I'm playing other games, stuff like that. But I don't know, like whenever I played Dead by Daylight, the movement was like a little like clunky for me. Like, here's the thing, right? I'm not a video game um, critique, you know, I'm not going to sit here. And, well, I kind of am in a way, but I'm not going to sit here and like critique every little thing. Does that make sense? I'm not I'm not like a strict substitute teacher. Like, I'm not going to. Oh, my God, that wasn't perfect. That wasn't perfect. You know, it's a video game. So. At the end of the day, like, the movement was definitely, like, it was clunky for me, but, I mean, I was playing on the PS4, so maybe that was the case. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure if I was playing on the PC, then I wouldn't, you know, be clunky or whatever, but maybe that's just my fault. You know what? I take that whole little segment back. Other than that, man, I'm pretty excited for all the uh, future uh, people that are coming to the game. Honestly, bro, I could really see, I'm sorry if I'm yapping, but I love to yap, so I don't care. I could really see Dead by Daylight being like a Fortnite in a way, and let me explain. I feel like Dead by Daylight and Fortnite is one of those games to where you can add almost anybody. Obviously, you know, they need they need to pay that bread. But honestly, like, I feel like Fortnite and Dead by Daylight can add anybody in the game. 
I mean, obviously in Dead by Daylight, they would rather add, you know, scary characters. Not scary characters, but like games. Not games, sorry. Characters that come from like a dark theme, like movie or video game, if you know what I mean by that. So like Alan Wake makes sense. Chucky makes sense. Who else did they add? Um, that They added some more people, but like the last two, like Chucky and Alan Wake, that, bro, they make completely sense. You know, it, they come from like a dark theme, like, uh, like entertainment in a way. So, um, obviously, you know, I'm really, really happy for Dead by Daylight, you know, for this. And, um, comment down below, man, what other characters, you know, from movies, TV shows, whatever do you want to see in Dead by Daylight? So, you guys are it for the next one. I'm out. And,